Hey there everybody. So today we're gonna to go over the basics of how to use a compass for navigation underwater. Um, the first thing you need to learn are the parts of the compass so that when we refer to something, uh, you know what it is. Okay, so we're looking uh, at the top down of a standard gauge mounted compass. Um, so the parts that you see here, the white part floating in the middle here, that is your actual compass. So that is what tells you which direction north is. So you see the pointy end here little arrow that always points north. So you see if I turn, the arrow turns and always faces the north direction. So if you know where north is, you can figure out every other direction. You'll notice my compass has a little bubble in it. Uh, there might be a leak, I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Might be time to replace it. So for now, just ignore the bubble. Uh, the little red line you see in the middle that goes all the way through the compass, that's called the lubber line. So we use that to make sure that we line the compass up. So if I pull this back a little bit, you see my belly here between my feet. I'm gonna have that lubber line oriented towards my belly button, and that's gonna point out in the direction I wanna go. That's important because we wanna make sure that um, we're going what is actually the right direction. If you are holding the compass sideways, you're not gonna get an accurate reading. So it's really important to make sure that lubber line is always pointing the right direction. Uh, the other component we're gonna deal with is the bezel. So the bezel rotates. And you'll see on the bezel, the north, the N for north, has a couple notches in it. Uh, that's gonna come into play later when we're uh, orienting. Okay, so navigation, we're gonna start with navigation basics here. Um, let's say we wanna take a heading and go somewhere. Um, we're gonna practice that right now um, on a small scale. So let's say we wanna go towards the fountain over there. What we're gonna do is look down at our compass here. We're gonna hold the compass up and we're gonna get a good sighting using that lubber line. So it's a little hard to see in here, but see I have the lubber line pointing at my body and pointing at the compass. That's how we get a good sighting. If you wanna know the direction you're heading, you can look at the little window here and it looks like we're gonna be going, uh, what is that gonna be? 200 degrees. That's not super important because you can look at the top here and we're gonna set up our compass. You can see the north arrow is pointing back behind us. We're gonna rotate this bezel until the notches in the north on the bezel are lined up with that north arrow. And if you notice up at the top here, it says 210 degrees. That matches up to what we looked at through the window. That's why I was saying it's not as important um, to look through that window for what we're doing. So as long as this north arrow is lined up between those notches, we're going in the right direction. If you start to deviate from your course, you can see it's going outside of the arrow. So you're going the wrong direction. If we look up, we can see we're now going towards the garden. We wanna go over there. So we're gonna look back down at our compass and we're gonna get back on course here. All right, so you can go. This is gonna start walking along here. Normally you'd be swimming. You can count your kick cycles to figure out how far you're going. All right, and you can see, and then we've now made it to the fountain. So now that we've gotten to where, we, where the fountain is, how do we get back? So we're gonna do what's called a reciprocal course, which reciprocal means opposite. So there's a couple different ways we can do this. You can see we already know the heading we were taking. If you look, you see there's a south notch here. If you wanna go the opposite direction, you can turn your body 180 degrees or just turn around until that north arrow now points to the south and you can just keep going that way. If you wanna keep track of your heading, you can ro now rotate the bezel and now we're going about 30 degrees and we're gonna walk back in that, walk back, swim back in that direction. So now you've done a reciprocal out and back navigation. Okay, so now we know the components of the compass. We know how to do out and back navigation um, and I showed you how to take out a heading. We're gonna focus a little more on that, um, on headings. So you can actually take headings based on uh, numbers or just by sight. So, Right now, we're just gonna take a look at it and do it by number or degrees. Okay, so we're back here at our compass. Um, I have the bezel set to zero or 360 degrees. Zero degrees is north, all right? Now let's say you know that there's a reef that takes, uh, it's uh, heading off of the shore at 120 degrees. Very simple. You get to your starting point, you're gonna rotate the bezel until that red line at the top, uh, it's the 120 mark. And now we need to orient ourselves. 
So we're gonna turn our bodies until that north arrow and the notches in the bezel are lined up. Now we're going 120 degrees. So we can see between here and the uh, trash cans over there, we have some obstacles. That's gonna happen in the real life too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate. And as you're navigating, watch where you're going. You don't wanna be focused on this. And then all of a sudden, boom, run into a big rock. Kind of keep your eyes on where you're going. Look for natural navigation aids. But every once in a while, check, come down to check and make sure that you're still on course. So we need to go around this item. So we're gonna just turn and we're gonna have to go off course for a little bit. And once we get around it, we're gonna get ourselves back on course and continue on. All right, now let's say we've gotten to, so we had to go 120 degrees for 100 yards. Uh, we've done that, now we have to make a turn. Uh, let's say the next heading is gonna be 240 degrees. We're gonna turn our bezels to read 240 degrees, and then we're gonna rotate our bodies until we're lined up. Now we're gonna take a heading to 240 degrees. and always watching where you're going. And, oh look, we found a fountain. All right, so now we wanna go back again. We're gonna say 330 degrees. And I'm just pulling these numbers out of thin air. You, you may have numbers, you may not. You may have to orient, um, which we'll talk about later. So we're gonna rotate again until we're on our heading of 330 degrees. And we're gonna take our steps or our kicks until we get to where we want to be. So you can see the compass is really nothing to be afraid of. It's very convenient um, when you're diving with people who are not very good at navigation and you know how to use your compass, you look like a superhero because there's nothing cooler than going out on what seems like a random dive and coming right back to where you started. Um, it's kind of like a card trick. So uh, get out and practice, enjoy and have fun and be safe.